Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary is located 17 miles offshore and more than 60 feet beneath the ocean's surface, so most people will never get the chance to see it in person. Underwater video is helpful bridging that gap, but a group of 30 graduate and undergraduate students from the Savannah College of Art and Design's Visual Effects Department decided to go a step further and use their computer skills to recreate the underwater environment from scratch in the digital realm. Gray's Reef National Marine Sanctuary is an eye-pleasing oasis of phenomenal splendor. This project had a pretty high standard because we were going for photorealism. We wanted to really portray what these creatures look like in their environment. They have a very specific type of sand, very specific types of rocks that we can't just, you know, put any rock texture or sand texture on there. Because it, it will look like rocks and sand, but it, it won't be accurate as to what we're trying to do. Using state-of-the-art software, the students built a computer simulated field guide to the sanctuary, rendering and animating a dozen different creatures. I think my favorite creature has been the sea turtle. It was beautifully textured and it just the scene that it came into, it just it looks really nice. They are observed year-round at Gray's Reef, feeding on crabs and clams and resting under ledges. It's a useful exercise for the students and a great educational tool, but this project will also come in handy when the SCAD students look for jobs in the movie world. It's an opportunity for the students to see a, a real-world working environment. So we have an opportunity to actually interact with the client they have delivery deadlines. Uh, we actually produce something that, it's, that is professional quality. So it's really interesting for me to observe um, their work ethic, you know, how serious they are about what they're doing, and their commitment to it. Reporting for Gray's Reef, your National Marine Sanctuary, I'm Michael Jordan.